Crested geckos are amongst the most popular pet gecko in the world, yet there's still a lot that is not known about these wonderful animals. In this video, we're going to go over the anatomy of a crested gecko. This popular species of geckos is widely known for their cute little eyelashes on top of their head and their triangular crested head. Geckos are typically nocturnal subtropical lizards that do not have eyelids. Now, there are exceptions to these rules, but for the most part, most geckos actually have an invisible scale across their eye that is called a spectacle. Now, this, this invisible scale is actually what shelters the eye from any debris or anything from actually hurting or penetrating the eyes. If you haven't noticed by now, geckos actually have a tongue that they use to lick their eyeballs clean whenever they get any debris stuck in their eye. Another unique feature to geckos and perhaps one of the most popular features to geckos are the toes and their feet in general. Most geckos have a structural trait underneath their feet called lamellae that allows them to stick to smooth surfaces. Now that coupled with some tiny little claws make them some of the best climbers in nature's animal kingdom. As you can see here, these ridges of lamellae are made by tiny little hair-like structures that are called sati. And the sati is what allows these geckos to actually stick to these smooth surfaces. Crested geckos have hydrophobic properties in their scales that help them repel water to a degree. This adaptation helps crested geckos stay clean and maintain their natural moisture balance in humid environments. Another feature of these amazing lizards is their semi-prehensile tail. They will actually use this tail to hang from branches in the wild and to aid them in climbing. Geckos and many other lizards actually have the ability to self-detach their tail in order to help them escape predation and to give them another chance at life. Crested geckos and most other gecko species are usually at the bottom of the food chain, so everything around them is usually trying to eat them. And that is why they develop the ability to detach that tail, where in the wild, they will detach this tail if they feel in danger. The tail usually wiggles around like a crazy worm, and the predator goes for the tail while the gecko gets away. Most gecko species like day geckos or leopard geckos actually regenerate their tail, but unfortunately for the crested gecko, they get one shot to escape their predators and they do not regenerate their tail. Now, most gecko species tend to be very, very small lizards, but crested geckos along with some of the other New Caledonian geckos are amongst some of the biggest geckos in the world. There are hundreds and even thousands of gecko species and these guys max around eight to nine inches long. Now these robust geckos are actually made for life in the trees. They are arboreal and they can jump and climb throughout almost any surface. Now they are very robust and they could take big leaps into the forest floor or other branches. So they are actually very, very hardy animals. Like many other gecko species, these guys will actually be active at night and during the day, they do not close their eyelids because they do not have eyelids. They actually just sink their eyelids into their head a little bit and that's how they rest. Another crazy feature about this tail, aside from being semi-prehensile, is that they actually have some of the lamellae they have underneath their toes in the very tip of this tail and that is obviously used to help them cling and climb into different surfaces. Now, when you put all of these different features and you combine them into one animal, you get one of the most unique lizards in nature, and that is the gecko. It is still not well known why crested geckos in particular get these eyelashes, but it is theorized that they get them to keep dirt out of their eyes when they're digging around to lay eggs. Another interesting feature is their tail and their tail typically is always this white or cream coloration and it is said that they have this tail to resemble bird poop when they're laying on branches or leaves in the wild. And all these traits combined is what makes the crested gecko one of the most interesting and unique lizards in the world. 